and the first day of school for the, I should say, the first school district in our state is reopening to kids, and that is Queen Creek Unified. It's happening today. Our Nohelani Graf is outside the high school there. What can parents expect? So, Kaylee, we certainly know that parents can expect things to look a lot different today and in the coming days. Nobody knows exactly how this is going to play out, but one thing you can count on is that this is the guinea pig district. Every other school district in the state is going to be keeping their eyes on Queen Creek and what happens over the next week with their case numbers and how students and teachers navigate being in a classroom setting once again. We do know that when students do show up to campus here, all students and teachers will be asked to wear masks. We're told there are sanitation stations set up inside and even social distancing markers on the floor. The district is also going to be running dozens of school buses. And so this is what the new normal is going to look like for quite some time. But this is interesting. According to Maricopa County's new dashboard for schools, the district has hit two out of the three benchmarks recommended by the state for reopening. But according to the county, the area remains at a substantial risk. In fact, 25 teachers in this district have already resigned. It feels like they're waiting for people to get hurt. The people making the decisions in our district are the people who seem to think that COVID's just a cold. That just push through it, a couple people will get sick and it'll be fine. Now, as for parents that we've spoken to who are on board with bringing their kids back to class, they tell us they're just glad to have the option. Meantime, the first bell rings here at the high school at 7.20 this morning. Now back to you.